Hi, I'm Lily Collins here with LUK, and I'm about to play It's a Mood. Aww, fun! This picture is a still from Emily in Paris, and it's a bespoke Chanel jacket and Louboutin shoes. This specific look, I think, showcases part of Emily's character, but also just the overall feel of her fun, poppy, bright personality. I think I would have kept most of Emily's wardrobe, to be honest. I did really love, there was a pink on pink on pink on pink outfit. I never knew there were so many shades of pink that you could actually wear it all together at once and not have it feel overwhelming. Emily makes money, but I also think that we got to play around with clothes in a way that you just have to believe it's fashion and it's a show and it's fun. One of the bonuses to the way in which we've filmed season two, you incorporate vintage in there and I think we've reused certain key items in really interesting ways so that you are reminded that she's a young woman who loves certain pieces of clothing and can't just go out and spend money all the time. But we mix in new designers, streetwear, um, high street brands as well as higher end. It's really fun to get to see how we can mix high and low, vintage and new, and make it, make it relatable yet still have that wish fulfillment. So this photo is probably the most special. Um, it's my wedding dress. And it was taken in Colorado at Dunton Hot Springs, which is where we got married. And it's a Ralph Lauren dress. I really loved the idea of a Western Americana meets British Victorian feel, and the location very much helped dictate that feeling and being outside in nature, the juxtaposition of those colors and the trees with this kind of whimsical lace element and the white hood, which felt a bit like a fairy tale, uh, but at the same time very grounded in nature and kind of one with the earth. All of those different feelings I felt really was captured in this outfit. Ah, okay. This look is Jean-Baptiste Valley, and I wore it to the 2019 Met Gala, which was themed camp. So we went big and went home. <laughs> it was a complete character for me. Um, we really leaned into the theme and the hair and makeup. That wedding-like train was a lot to maneuver. I think I had to <laughs> whip it around myself constantly throughout the night and ask people to like not step on it, which is one of the hardest things to do with the Met Ball when there's a bunch of people around. But um, it was so fun. And again, the theme required you to go big or go home. So we just got to have fun with it. The carpet, it, it goes by like that because they're trying to get everyone through. So you have to move from step to step, not trip, and then look in front, behind to the side. And it can get confusing because there's just so many different angles. And then all of a sudden you're like, wait, it's over, it's done. And then you hope that you haven't tripped. I kind of wish it was like an escalator so that you just get taken up as opposed to having to navigate it. Oh my God, yes. I think my mom took that one. I am wearing a British, yeah, it's a British flag shirt, I think, and a British flag sweatshirt or sweater that unzipped kind of looks okay, but then you zip it up and it's just like full on Brit. So if anyone ever doubted if I embraced my Brit side, this is a photo for you. That actually does feel quite Jerry Halliwell to be wearing the British flag, which I will gladly take. I also back in the day loved the Olsen twins, and I think that there were many of their movies where they had hats on and jean on jean on jean that I was mimicking, or at least trying to. And like those low rise jeans, probably these kind of bell bottomy type ones. I was actually referencing Passport to Paris and Billboard Dad, <laughs> so you really got me there. So this next outfit is from Emily in Paris and it's a Dolce & Gabbana dress with a bucket hat, per usual, for Emily. It was taken, obviously, season two filming in Saint-Tropez. Emily gets into a few more messes, which we expect and love. There's a definite female camaraderie between Mindy, uh, Kemi and Emily, which is really fun. All the different characters in Savoir have their own storylines. We get to dive more into them. And there's some new characters, which we're really excited about. So you can definitely expect a lot of laughs. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's Halloween. 
No, actually that was near Halloween. It was Ciara's birthday. I didn't go for the normal, just pull it out of a bag. I just threw on a bunch of stuff and called myself a superhero. So I think there's some form of a cool dress underneath, but I just know that the cape sealed the deal. I haven't dressed up in a while as big as I used to, but I used to be really big into creating my own costumes and themes and ideas. One year I was the fashion police, and so I wore every type of fashion trend at once, and I had like this crazy, I think, bright pink wig. My outfit was ridiculous because it was like all these things pulled into one, but I had like a utility belt where I had like a hair dryer, I had, you know, all sorts of kind of beauty implements. And then I had like a police officer would a book of tickets and I would write up, oh my God, like, you know, how dare you wear this and this together? And, and like, I give it out, um, which was, I just found that to be really fun. That is the 2016 Vanity Fair party after the Oscars and I'm wearing Saint Laurent. That was kind of a nod a little bit. There was like an old Hollywood-esque feeling to it, but also Saint Laurent, so it was kind of edgy and more elevated uh, and a bit more modern. Yeah, I love the way that that fanned out and had the slit and I love that gold, that gold tone. So that tattoo on my side uh, says, true delicacy is not a fragile thing. People sometimes think that I'm maybe fragile even though I'm really, really strong and resilient. So for me, that was a bit of a reminder. And there is a little girl, a little fairy sitting on a moon and blowing a dandelion. So it was like blowing wishes. And my grandmother was a ballerina. So it's like a little ballerina fairy. Wow, that is from the 72nd Academy Awards. I was, I think, 10 or 11. I am with um, my dad and my sister Jolie. I'm wearing, oh my gosh, I think it was like part velvet with a shawl. It was my take on being sophisticated as probably a 10 or 11 year old. And I definitely loved the curls. I usually curled my hair, but then didn't shake them out. So they were ringlets, which I loved and embraced at the time. This is a Marquesa gown with my peplum waist from the 2019 Vanity Fair party after the Oscars. I love that this looked like a watercolor and there was velvet, there was tulle, there were, there were so many different types of materials and the colors all kind of washed together quite beautifully in photos. But at the same time, when you looked at it intricately, you could see the details of the flowers and then we put some flowers in the back of my hair and it just felt quite whimsical. There's like an effortless quality to it, I think that felt quite like a garden. My style, I think, is constantly evolving. I'm less afraid to try new things now, and I'm more embracing of whatever it is that I am and not letting fashion dictate it. So if I don't feel comfortable in something, I just don't want to wear it anymore because it feels forced, and therefore then I think it looks forced. Every body shape, everyone is different, so I think it's important to just take a style and embrace it in a way that makes it your own. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my looks throughout the years. Try not to make fun of me too much.